All right, good morning guys. Uh, last time I did a walk around of my MX uh, 250R, so this time I thought I'd do my uh, TPC conversion. So this bike, actually, this bike started life pretty much just like that one, a relatively stock 2014 TRX 450. Um, Bill Casey and TPC trikes um, provided the kit, which was basically the frame, triple clamps, uh, and front hub uh, and uh, I built it from there so this has got uh, Sierra 450 forks uh, reworked by 612 suspension which I'm lucky enough to have relatively local Dade City to me uh, with 0.52 springs stiffest springs that come in them for the bike work pretty well for this and then revalved obviously <clears throat> so motor is done by uh, Chris Williams at Williams Performance, also relatively local to me. Uh, great guy, does really good work on these four strokes. Uh, 13 and a half to one, has got a 43 millimeter carb done by JH Racing, uh, ported head, uh, plus one valves. Uh, it's not a crazy build webcam, but it, it's a good solid uh, mid 50s build. Um, <clears throat> just recently, so we got the hour meter up there. You can see 8.7 since the motor was completely rebuilt. Um, just got this uh, tower put in, the steering damper welded on and mounted up in here. So I'm not completely happy yet with the crossbar. I had to bow it up to cover this a little bit. I've got another set of one and eight handlebars uh, that don't use a crossbar that I might try. Let's see if I can get the pad to work on that, but uh, that's kind of the idea. So let's see. Coming around to the back, we've got a Fox podium rear shock, a Lone Star a plus one swing arm, and a Lone Star DC6 linkage. Um, rear suspension works excellent on this uh, four work seat. Um, we've got a uh, Dominator 2 axle, in my opinion, the best axles out there for these 450s, uh, RPM Dominator. Uh, right now we're sitting on hole shots. Um, Oh, uh, RJR uh, wide rear grab bar. I like those. It makes it easier to pick these things up and move them around because they're pretty tall because there's quite a bit of sag in these things. Uh, DASA exhaust. Um, let's see what else. So these foot pegs, these are some old, I think GT Thunder foot pegs that I got years ago. I was going to use actually on the 250R with some adapter plates. They're like uh, half to three quarters inch lower than normal, which works well for me because I'm, I'm 6'2". Um, got a little hole shot device on the front. You can see the steering damper from the front. I've got my key mounted right up in there. Uh, you know, there's lots of different ways you can go with, you know, customizing these things, but I'm very happy with this one. It's worked out really well. Uh, suspension is well sorted. Engine is great. Smooth power. So no complaints. Love this one. All right. Have a good, good day, guys.